fermentation takes place, we receive juice in from the press pad. Um, it's pumped into either of these tanks. Uh, yeast is added along with yeast nutrient. Uh, fermentation takes place. Um, we start to monitor the fermentation process to make sure that the sugar is being consumed at a reasonable pace. We adjust temperature in the tanks to control the fermentation and we uh, take it through a series of steps till it becomes uh, the fine wine that you would drink. We're in the cellar here at Captain's Walk Winery, um, originally in the home of Elijah Morrow, a 156 year old home with a natural stone foundation. Uh, the humidity and temperatures down here are ideal for the cellar aging of wines and oak barrels. Uh, we age several of our red wines from Sangiovese, Merlot, Cabernet, Chardonnay and Pouvain Blanc. Um, times vary uh, for the maturation process of each of these wines and barrel regimens also um, are different for each of them as well. Aging wine in barrels is both an art and a science. Uh, part of the process of aging wine is to actually sample the wines periodically. Um, we usually do this at the time that we top the barrels. Barrels have to be topped with um, a surplus of wine um, on a monthly basis to account for evaporation that results to prevent oxygen from getting in. Uh, to pull a sample at any time to see how wine is progressing, we use a, a wine, wine maker's uh, a cheat uh, device here called the Wine Thief, and we'll be pulling a, a sample from this barrel. Remove the top. Place the Wine Thief into the barrel. As it fills, you put your finger on this hole at the top which creates a vacuum to pull the wine out, and we'll pour a sample into the glass. There are all kinds of fancy, high-tech scientific gizmos to uh, test wine, but still, uh, the most sensitive device out there is still the senses of the winemaker. So to actually sniff and to uh, taste the wine, it's, it's still the best way to determine how the wine is progressing. This is uh, the Cabernet Sauvignon. It's quite good at this point. Um, could drink it at this point as well, but uh, we think we need to leave it in the barrel for some time yet. Here at Captain's Walk, we make a variety of different wines. We like to say that we have a full spectrum of wines, everything from white to red to even rosé in between. Uh, we make wines with uh, grapes that we import through from vineyards throughout some of the finest wine growing regions of the country. Uh, we do a Sauvignon Blanc made with a grape that we procure from uh, the Yakima Valley of Washington State. Uh, we also make uh, local wines, uh, in this case a maiden voyage made with uh, the Marichal Foch grape that we grow in our vineyard in Door County and also purchase from independent vineyards um, throughout the area including Ledgeview, Wisconsin. Uh, we do sweeter wines as well as dry wines, but we have the Riesling, which is a semi-sweet uh, version of Riesling. And we also do uh, small batch series wines, um, like the Super Tuscan wine and this year's release of Fumé Blanc. Uh, we do some dessert style wines, uh, also a locally grown grape, the Marquette grape, a relatively new variety out of the University of Minnesota, uh, grown in our vineyard in Door County. We do this port style bread, the Captain's Mistress. And we have some of our mainstay staple wines uh, and cult favorites like the Sangiovese, um, all of which are uh, the Sangiovese and some of our reds that are aged in these barrels, as you see back behind you here. Um, either way, I think uh, we have a, a full spectrum of wines, uh, wine, several wines that should be able to uh, appeal to a wide variety of, of, of audience.